Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to the Life of a YouTuber vlog series. I'm Jay Carter Ray from growonyoutube.com teaching you how to be better. In this episode, I am going to be sharing how I manage my time and how you can manage your time a little bit better to be more productive. So stay tuned. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long. Now, basically, I want to make sure that this vlog is shorter than the previous vlog that I've done. The previous vlog that I did is not even out yet at the time of me recording this. I think I filmed it about a week ago and I just filmed this vlog. But for some reason, the mic stopped picking up my voice after like 50 seconds. So hopefully that doesn't happen again. But I want to talk about planning. I want to talk about time management. And I also want to talk about what I've been up to today and what I'm going to be up to today. Now, first of all, I have finished writing the SEO chapter in my book, The Gamer's Guide to Greatness, How to Grow Your YouTube Gaming Channel and Turn It Into a Business. So if you are a YouTube gamer or you want to be a YouTube gamer, this book is going to be perfect for you. I want this to be the ultimate guide to teach any aspiring YouTube gamer how to succeed on YouTube and actually turn their YouTube channel into a business. So we finally got the SEO chapter done done and i've written about seo i've talked about seo i've done that a lot and pretty much every other chapter before here i've done that a million times over i've talked about thinking about your youtube channel like a business starting your youtube channel creating a content plan that sort of stuff i've done that so i'm kind of happy to get past this point in the book writing process and we have a few other chapters that i haven't really put out a lot of content on that i'm going to be very exciting very excited to write those chapters basically so that's in the process of going how it's going i did plan for october release date but maybe this will be done by september i guess we'll have to wait and see I may do a pre-order bonus type thing. I may allow people to pre-order the book. If I'm gonna do that, there will be a link in the description. So check out the description if you wanna pre-order the book. I'm telling you, it's gonna be worth every penny. Trust me. This is gonna be the book that I wish I had when I started out on YouTube. It's, it's, it's gonna be lovely. It's gonna be lovely. It's definitely going to help every YouTube gamer who really wants to succeed on YouTube. But that's enough of that. I don't want this to be a promotional video about my book. Far from it. Let's talk about planning. And first off, I want to talk about my planner. This is the Filofax. This is what I use to plan my day-to-day -day routine, my weekly routine, all the stuff that I need to get done. Generally, I'll put this in my Filofax. This will have my to-do list. And the way I plan in here, is I plan on a weekly basis. I don't know how great that is. Let's actually, I'm gonna take the camera off and show you guys the file effects on here. And hopefully this doesn't stop recording because that would be really, really annoying. All right, so here is the file effects and this is this week. Now this week is a little bit sparse because this week I'm focusing on writing. So what I do the next day really depends on what I've done the day before, depending on if I've gotten that piece of writing done, that piece of editing done and all that sort of stuff. And this sometimes is the way my weeks go, but on other weeks I'll have a specific plan of things that I wanna get done that week. As we move forward, I'm going to be able to be moving a lot more fluid with my plans, which I enjoy because I've gotten a lot of the groundwork out of the way. For example, writing the book. This is what I need to do right now. So that's a urgent thing that I need to do pretty much every week. But once that's out of the way, I will have more time in my schedule. But managing your time is really, really important because you want to get the most things done in the least amount of time. So you really want to be setting priorities. And what I do is I generally set a priority of three tasks that I want to get done that day and I'll focus on those. For example, today we've got writing the book, edit gameplay and edit vlog. Those are the three things that I want to get done today. 
And those are the three things that will get done today. And I will hopefully show you guys some editing footage in the background. I did talk about editing in the previous video, but I don't think I actually put editing footage in the background because I forgot to record it. But there will be some editing footage in the background for this. But we've written a chapter in a book. I'm going to continue writing actually because I'm actually excited to write the rest of the chapters because there's some interesting stuff that I want to get into about, you know, making more money from your channel and creating different revenue streams so i'm going to get into that and then we'll focus on editing gameplay and editing the vlog for saturday because that is when that is supposed to come out so i would suggest focusing on priority tasks three priority tasks a day focus on revenue generating tasks the most and move forward that way now on each day, I have the things that I want to get done. The three things will generally be at the top or I'll circle them like I've done in uh, this past week. And as you can see, this is a whole lot more hectic because there's a lot more stuff that needed to be done. But don't worry about not getting everything done. You can just move things to another day. Don't get too hung up on that. Just focus on getting your priority tasks done as many opportunities will come up, especially on YouTube, if you're like, maybe patch notes and stuff like that may come up. So you may have the opportunity to make a new video that you didn't plan ahead for. So this here at the top this week is where I'll generally put the types of things that I wanna get done this week, but I don't actually have a specific day that I want to get it done by and then depending on how the week turns out I'll incorporate those things into the week I don't think I've done like pretty much any of those I did do that I did do the anchor content lead five ways to use a podcast for your brand yeah I mean for your brand yeah I've done that and this week we've got the life of a small youtuber vlog we've got uh, t-shirt designs edit the newsletter and oh add free downloads so we've done that I do need to edit the newsletter and add new things to that because I've got new blog posts and new things that I need to add to the newsletter and t-shirt designs. We really need to get on top of that eventually, but that will depend on what I get done through the week. But this planner is really, really great. I definitely would suggest you guys plan out your days at least have a week of planning. I generally plan out on Monday or the Sunday before. And as you can see, going through these days, I do have a few things marked down, like a few videos that I want to release at certain times. The podcast is generally going to come out on Thursday. And this is when I start doing one YouTube tips video and three Rainbow Six videos. As you can see right about now, we're doing two. And next week, I want to do the channel update to let everyone know that the one YouTube tip video is going to be put into effect. And I want to be re-optimizing videos next week as that would be pretty, pretty cool. But yeah, honestly, there's a bunch of re-optimizing that needs to go on on the channel in terms of thumbnails because I've gotten better with my thumbnail game. So I'm probably going to be re-optimizing my most successful videos and doing better thumbnails for those. I also need have been needing to go through my GTA videos for a very long time and to actually re-optimize those for SEO because I didn't have a clue what I was doing when I first put up those videos in like 2013. So I've got to go and re-optimize those. So we've got a few things that I've got to take care of in the upcoming weeks. But right about now, I'm focusing on the YouTube channel and the book and the blog. Those are the things that I'm really, really focusing on. You really need to bring your focus down to the least amount of things as possible. I was spreading myself thin a whole lot. The, the past few months and weeks, I was doing a lot of stuff, but that was because I needed to get a lot of stuff done so that I could do the things that I wanted to do in the future, like write the book and write on my blog and do some freelance writing, like things like that. So I had to focus a lot of time into a lot of things, but right about now, I'm able to take it a bit easier and focus down onto a few things that I really wanna get done. And I think focusing your time on a few different things instead of loads of different things really 
allows you to make the most of your time and get the most results out of your time. Look at the things that you're doing that actually brings you results. And then look at the things that you're doing that isn't bringing you results and try and cut those things out. I think the saying is that 80% of your results come from 20% of the work or something like that. The theory, I forgot the guy's name, but you know, link in the description or something. Just just Google 8020 theory and you'll see it on, on uh, Google and you'll find out where it is. I think it's Pavlov. No, Pavlov is the guy that trained the dog. Yeah, that's a completely different thing. That's habits and that. So I'm trying to cut down all the things that I do into the things that actually work for me things that actually generate revenue, things that actually build my brand, build my business, build the YouTube channel and that sort of stuff. So I'm focusing down and I think that's what the rest of you guys should do also. But yeah, in the days coming up, we're gonna be focusing on the book. We're gonna be focused on editing the videos for next week. And I like the fact that I've gotten all the videos this week scheduled so I don't really have to worry about rushing to do that and then at the Monday of next week, I'll have all those that week's video scheduled, so I don't really have to worry about that. And then I'll only have to film like a couple more Rainbow Six videos because I've got so many YouTube tip videos filmed already. Although I do have a bunch of different ideas. Let me actually show you my Evernote because this is where I house all my ideas for my different videos and whatnot. So let's go to my notebooks. As you can see, we have a bunch of different notebooks in here. And this is generally how I organize my different types of things that I'm doing, like the blog, the Rainbow Six videos, the grown YouTube videos. As you can see, we have like 146 ideas for the grown YouTube blog, grown YouTube videos and stuff like that. So we're gonna get a bunch of different videos done and I don't really have to ever worry about running out of ideas for that. For the Rainbow Six Siege videos, we've only got about 20 different ideas in there right about now. But that's because I haven't really had the time to focus on that, which we will be doing in the upcoming weeks because we're going to be putting out less YouTube tip videos and more gaming videos and focusing the channel down really onto the Rainbow Six gaming videos and trying to grow through that. And then having the vlogs on the Saturdays, hopefully, and having that as a regular thing, depending on how these do and how they're received. So I hope this video helped you out. I hope it gave you some insight into how I run my YouTube channel, how I run my businesses and how I get so much content out on a daily basis. I put out five videos a week, generally, and then I put out a blog post a week. I'm trying to put out two blog posts a week. And obviously I put out the podcast and I'm also on Twitter and all that sort of stuff. So I'm really, really active because I'm quite efficient with my time. I batch record and I try not to waste my time doing things that aren't really doing a lot for my business and my brand. So I think these are things that you guys can you know, take note of. And let me know what you do to save time in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in the next vlog. If you got anything else you want me to discuss, any other parts of my life that you want me to kind of de delve deep into, things that aren't too private, you know, I do like my privacy, then leave a comment down below and I'll try and give you guys what you want basically. So, peace. Before you guys go, I just want to let you know that you can download your free content plan template below. The link is in the description, so be sure to get that. This free content plan template will help you plan your content in a way that will bring you more views and subscribers. So definitely grab that ASAP. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long. So all this warmth I share with you